Hey, Coach Mark here from Mr. Triathlon. Just a few tips today just on how to get into that open water. If it's your first time this year or you are a complete beginner, then this is just a good way to approach um, how to kind of build up some confidence and develop those open water techniques. But I think it's always really good to do a little bit of breaststroke. Um, it help, allows you to concentrate on the exhaling that breath under the water which is perfect for getting you nice and relaxed in the water without the complication of having to turn your head to breathe etc. So just do some breaststroke, build up some confidence, you're not twisting and turning, you're just getting yourself nice and relaxed, getting used to putting your face in the water particularly if it is cold and it doesn't take very long before you can get really comfortable with that if you're used to doing breaststroke and then you can start to transfer that same exhalation to your front crawl stroke apologies for the shaky camera but here you can see maddie's already putting her face in doing front crawl and just starting to really develop her open water confidence and it well, it's, this is a much better footage but yeah very quickly you can see how she's really got some confidence and can start to swim quite well in the open water um so yeah i mean you can see how happy she is when she's finished her session and um but yeah think just build up some confidence by doing breaststroke getting your breathing under control and then you can start to look at um, your swim technique with you know a bit more confidence you've got in the water um so things like hand entry so what i see a lot when people get into the open water is they start to kind of really reach out because there's a long distance up to the next point and they start to drop that elbow down which creates quite poor technique there's you've got resistance of that hand against the water and uh, what that does it slows you down so what you need to do is practice just getting that hand driving into the water so driving down into the water which sets you up for a really good catch okay so that's really good and also keep the cadence up once you start slowing the cadence down that's when you start seeing that elbow dropping so keep that cadence going and keep that um that keep that pace up when you're swimming say two three five hundred meters in a straight line it's easy to just kind of stretch out and just not really yeah, and let that cadence drop when, when you become comfortable with that then you can start to look at more open water skills like um, you know, doing turns around boys, doing really good sighting. I mean, if you're sighting really well, um, you, so oftentimes you see people doing this down the lake if they're not sighting very well. You're adding distance to your, uh, the, you know, how far you're actually swimming. So it's, it's you, if you can swim in a straight line, it's just gonna, you're going to save a lot more time. Um, and then you can start to build up swimming in groups of people. So once you get comfortable with, you know, so the basic skills of open water, then what you can do is start to swim really close in with other people and you can draft, etc. Oh, one thing I was going to mention about sighting is that, you know, when you do sighting, a really good technique is to just lift your, just your eyes above the water rather than your whole head out the water. So if you lift just your eyes, it allows you to keep a really good body position in the water. If you're lifting your head quite high, what tends to happen is your legs will drop down and you'll end up, fairly exaggerated, but you end up swimming like that through the water, which creates a lot of resistance. If you just lift your head up very slightly, take a quick, take a quick look and then twist your head to breathe back in the water, you keep that better body position so you keep your momentum going through the water. And uh, yeah, so then you can move on to groups and you end up swimming. Um, you know, with, uh, with lots of other people around you. And again, that builds up a lot of confidence going into a race, especially if it's a swim mass start. So if you enjoyed the video and you really liked it, then please uh, click like below and uh, click subscribe as well. And let me know what you want to hear about and I can make videos that are, you know, be the content that you want to hear.